Hello, um, welcome to this Maya Tips and Tricks. We're going to look at the move tool and the various options that we have um, as far as its orientation. Uh, so here you have our object selected, we have the move tool. Uh, and uh, by default, it is aligned to the world. So the world is the Y axis is up and uh, Z is front and uh, X is the right of that uh, frame of reference. So, you know, we can move it like this, you know, in the world axis or you know, if you have an object rotated like this, for example, we see and you know, we want to move it in one direction. We see that the 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 the, the axes are not properly aligned anymore. So then we can switch, you know, to the object which takes into account the object's rotation. And we have, you know, right now the option of moving like that and like that. Sorry, and like this. Uh, the other option is components. This one is very handy. But let me go back to zero for all um, transforms here. Okay, so now for example, we are working on a component. Suppose you're working on this part of the nose and you know, we want to move the, 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 the component mode is, you know, where we want to be in because we can you know, move it like that. You know, whereas if we were in the object mode, um, pretty weird or the, the word mode, you know, it's not, it's not right. So the component mode is where we want to be. The same thing for uh, works for vertices as well. You know, it's properly aligned. You know, uh, the vertex, it takes the vertex from the average of the four faces to which the vertex is, uh, uh, to which the vertex belongs, sorry. Um, and the same, of course, works for edges. Also an average of the two, ver of the two uh, faces to which the, uh, the, the vertex belongs. Next is parent. Um, that is in the case where our object is parented to something. If we just create an, uh, an object um, and, you know, suppose we put it like that and you know if we we for example you know want to parent our head right now you know if our head aligns to to, to, to the to the um, to the child to our our child object aligns to the parent so you know we could be in if we select this you know we're in we're in, we're in object or objects not oriented or the world or if you go to parent then we see it turns to uh, to the parent axis it just copies the parent um, the parent's uh, frame of reference okay it's apparent that wait. Um, the next is uh, normal mode. This one is very handy when working with uh, with uh, with um, vertices. Okay, for example, you know we could have this row of vertices selected. If I select these guys and I convert to vertices, for example, you see that with with the normal, you know I can move exactly in the right direction I want. Or uh, to 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 show you even better is is to you know, if for example I have this torus, okay, I'm going to isolate it. I have this torus, for example, when I create it initially, of course, I have access to the uh, to these uh, controls that allow me to modify the section radius, okay, which is pretty nice if I want to make it thin or thick. But suppose that I have deleted my history, okay, if I if I for example um, delete my history, I usually use the sh keyboard shortcut here. Let me just delete history. Uh, now, if I want to do that, I don't have controls to it anymore okay so in this case you know that's when that normal uh, uh, reference frame becomes very handy because when I have it all selected you know I can do that and then all the objects move um, in relation to, to, to the normal which is um, super super useful the next we're going to be looking at is uh, the of course for an object you know uh, normal is irrelevant um, is the rotation axis well this one hardly ever get to use it uh, if I reset and I go back to the rotation axis uh, this one actually I think it should even be named differently but it takes into account the the object's uh, rotation axis which is uh, here you know this this value could be different for let's say for example 60 and you have your object like that you see when you are in the um, or, or, or along the rotation axis, it should say something rather like not along the ro rotation axis. That's what it should say here. But uh, you know that's what it does because if you use your object uh, reference frame, you see it is it is it is uh, it takes into account that rotation axis. But this guy does not. Okay, so it should rather be not uh, along the rotation axis. But you know I don't know why they named it like that. Uh, the next is live object. If we go back and um, zero this value you know if we have a life object in our scene for example let's take the sphere okay and turn it into um, a life object if I can find the right controls should be here if I turn it into a life object for example you know it becomes live and now if I select this guy you know you see that 
you know it 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 snaps to the um, to the object's surface. Okay, it's rather like a snapping kind of thing. Uh, I, I would have thought that it would follow the 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 the, uh, the orientation of the position on the surface of which it is, but it is not. So you know, it, it's rather um, it's rather uh, it just snaps to the surface of the object. Okay, of the live object. Let's unlive it and delete it. Um, the last one is custom. Uh, this one is you know depending on on how you you we want to move it. You know, suppose for example you want to move we want to move our object along a specific angle, uh, specific axis, let's take this for example, suppose you want to move an object along this, this, you know, if, if, we, 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 if, if, if we come here and we say for example face, you know, it would wait for us to select a face, and if we select a face, now we have our object, you know, aligned and we can move it in, uh, sorry, in the direction of that face, and of course, you know, it, it, it goes off immediately, you, you click elsewhere, but you can definitely come back by middle clicking here, like that or you know clicking and you know it goes back and uh, so that's pretty it as far as um, the axis orientation of the move tool is concerned